I'm John Rauschenberger, I'm the Chief Technology Officer at Clarity, and today I'm going to be showing you how we're using the Skype developer platform to deliver great software for Skype for Business. Our approach is to build native software on Skype for Business. That means that our ability to grow our business and deliver new features and functionality is entirely dependent on the success Microsoft has with the Skype for Business products. The biggest change we're looking forward to is the move away from PSTN-based solutions and allowing our customers to deliver customer care solutions on top of mobile devices with in-browser communications, all leveraging the capabilities that Microsoft is delivering with Skype for Business. Clarity Connect is a managed communication solution for Skype for Business. What we do is add the capabilities our customers need to run customer care and internal help desk and other solutions on top of Skype for Business. We add queuing, intelligent routing, and the reporting in real-time metrics that our customers need to manage those types of solutions. What we're looking at here is the Clarity Connect dashboard. This is a website that our customers use to manage the calls that are routing through the Clarity Connect platform. At the top level, we can see a global view of how we're performing across all instances of the product that the customer has deployed. We can also drill in and take a look at individual queues and how we're performing in there. If I drill into the account queue here, we see that it's yellow, meaning that our performance is not in the danger zone, but it's also not exactly where we want it to be. I can see what all of my agents are doing. I can see individual details on those agents. I can also see the calls that are in queue and the active calls. As a supervisory user, I can even join those active calls to provide coaching to the agent, as well as to uh, score them and get some performance information on how they're doing. As an agent, I can also click on myself and I can see detailed information about how I've done throughout the day with the information that we want those agents focused on in terms of the quality of service they're delivering to our customers. Now, this dashboard can be used not just in a desktop browser, but it also scales down to mobile devices. So we see the exact same view here on, in this case, an iPhone. And we can drill into those exact same accounts and see the same information and you can see the experience is responsive in that it is reformatting itself down to the device, but I can still drill into those active calls and I have all the same functionality. If I need to take that call, I can do that here as well. Now the other piece of the application that we want to take a look at is how our customers set up the call flows, the actual experience their customers are going to have when they dial in. Now what we're looking at here is our call flow editor. Again, it's an in-browser experience, a visual editor that our customers use to build these call flows. I'm going to zoom in here and we can take a closer look at what this particular customer is doing. The first thing they're doing is checking to see if they're operating in a normal mode or an emergency mode. So if they're having some sort of an outage or another type of problem, they can change that. And then we're actually doing a Salesforce lookup. So the product fully integrates natively with Salesforce to do data dips on an inbound call. In this case, we're actually looking at the inbound caller ID to see if we can match that to a Salesforce record. If we do, we're going to tag that call with that information and that will flow all the way through to the agent. At the end of the call, we'll also push that information back up to Salesforce so we get a full communication history directly in Salesforce. As that call traverses down through then, we can also provide menu options. So here we can see we've got a variety of options the customer can choose from to get them to the right queue. At that point, we will find the best available agent to handle that call and give all of the context to that agent, the Salesforce record, along with any other customer information we have to allow them to help that customer in the most efficient manner possible.